An out of control trolley jumps the tracks and crashes into a historic house in South Philly. It happened at the intersection of Island Avenue and Cobbs Creek Parkway in southwest Philadelphia. No passengers were on board, but a SEPTA employee and two people in an SUV were injured. We're told all will be okay. A woman who lived in the house was able to escape. So the trolley accident is just one of several incidents. High profile incidents uh, via using, or excuse me, including SEPTA this week alone. So we're asking the question are they connected? Right. And also, what is SEPTA doing to stop the spike in these safety issues? Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden went digging and got some answers. SEPTA, these are very, very concerning, very serious incidents. SEPTA spokesperson Andrew Bush acknowledging concern and frustration that the transit agency is now simultaneously investigating five crashes in a week's time. Three involve buses, the other two trolleys. Oh, oh, that includes this runaway trolley last night in southwest Philadelphia. Despite the incidents, Bush underscoring people should remain confident in SEPTA. Trying to reinforce that it is safe to travel on SEPTA, and I know that that's difficult for a lot of people to hear right now. Okay, we, we fully acknowledge that. These are, are five extremely serious incidents. Uh, we had uh, one person die last week. That fatality happened July 21st when two buses collided on the Roosevelt Boulevard. Two days later, a SEPTA bus crashed into a pole. The following day, two trolleys collided in Drexel Hill. On July 25th, a bus plowed into a storefront. Figures from SEPTA show incidents for 2023 fall within an average range compared with the last few years. A review of federal data by CBS News Philadelphia revealed of the 83 public transit agencies that logged at least 10 million miles, SEPTA is number two on the list with 14 incidents per million miles of bus and train travel. We've learned the Transit Authority has stepped up safety monitoring across all shifts with an emphasis on supervision of operators and mechanics. These are rules that they know, but make sure that we're giving them a refresher um, on best practices. Uh, safety, what, what, to, what to watch out for. Experience levels for the operators involved in the five most recent crashes range from newer employees to some veterans. Officials described those crashes as unacceptable. SEFTA officials confirm of these five incidents, they all still remain under investigation with no preliminary conclusions reached just yet. In Center City, Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia.